Hi guys, so now we're gonna make another Christmas tree, which actually can be made any time of the year. Um, with the oven's ready, the oven has been set for 350 degrees, and uh, I make this at Valentine's Day also, but these are called fudgy bonbons, and let me tell you what. Whoever you make this for, they will just go bonbons over you. They will go crazy. Now, we're just gonna melt our butter. Look how beautiful that is. This pan is obviously ready for me. And we're gonna do 12 ounces of chocolate chips. About a cup and a half, okay? Two cups or so of chocolate chips. Okay, there's one, look at that. Who doesn't love chocolate? There we go, now watch this. Watch what happens, Alex, watch this. Oh. And then as soon as it melts, okay, we're going to put vanilla, and it is, oh look at this, come, come check this out, look at this, oh loud. Now I do have to tell you something. This cookie calls for Hershey Kisses, 60 of them. This recipe makes 60 cookies, that's right, 60 cookies. And I use semi, as much as I love milk chocolate, it makes me happy, you gotta use semi-sweet because sweet and condensed milk, way too sweet. And people, they like sweet, but not too much. Now we're gonna add our sweet and condensed, watch this. Oh, who, look at this. Oh my goodness. It's not, folks, it's not Christmas till you take out your sweet and condensed milk. You know it's not Christmas till you take it out. And get in there and get every bit of that. Every bit of it. It's goodness. And then we need one teaspoon of vanilla. Please get pure vanilla extract. You don't want the fake stuff. The imitation stuff is not good. About a teaspoon. It doesn't get any better than this. It just doesn't. Okay. Now we're going to stir this up. Okay. And watch what happens. This is so good. I want to dive in this pan and cover myself in this chocolate. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Folks, you know you want to dive in this and cover yourself in this. Look at this. And just look what happens. Look, this is exciting. As it starts to melt and the condensed milk, it all comes together. Look at this. Oh, shut up. How beautiful does this look? Oh, look. At, now, look. I just want to point out the beautiful glistening color of this. It's just ridiculous. Look at this. Now, I have one more tip. Make sure when you make this fudgy bonbon, you let all the chocolate chips melt out and make sure it's very smooth. Because if you don't, your nice, smooth, fudgy bonbon coating, this is gonna become a coating, we're gonna add flour to this, is gonna have pieces in it. And you, yeah, yeah, we don't want that. So, there we go. Now, I'm gonna get the kids, and we're gonna start rolling this out. All right, kids, are you ready? And come on, kids, come on in. Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at this chocolate. Folks, it doesn't get any better than this. Now, instead, we're gonna add two cups of flour to this. You guys know you wanna <laughs> swim in this. You know you wanna swim in this. Forget the soap. But I have a tip. If you try to add your flour to this in the pan, the pan's hot. I've tried this before, it dries up the bonbons. Dried bonbons do not make for good cookies. So, I'm gonna pour it all, watch this. I'm gonna pour, oh, shit. Shut up, look at this. You know you want this. I could put my whole face in this bowl. I could put my face in this bowl, look at this. Now I'm gonna be here a while because I'm gonna scrape every inch of this stuff. It's hot. Oh, come on. Oh my golly. Okay, ready? Focus, I know, I know. I can't help it, it's chocolate. I'm gonna take two cups of flour. You ready? You guys stir this until it's, but we can't take too long because I have to gently, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Look at the little ribbons it makes. I'm gonna let you guys roll it, how about that? Because we've got to work quickly, okay? Um, no mistakes in the kitchen, right? Opportunities to learn, and I have learned that if I take too long, it dries up. Um, once it's incorporated, we're gonna, right away, we're gonna put uh, some four, um, what is this, cling wrap on top. And then, because it keeps it from uh, drying out, okay? And then as we shape the cookies, we're gonna grab little bits of it. Uh, we're gonna put it right, right back on top. Mm. Look how beautiful. So see, you, you don't want it that wet because you're gonna have to roll them with, with your fingers, okay? Actually, you're gonna roll it around these. Would you like to show them this, Simeon? These delicious, that's right, folks. Hershey 
kisses. Oh, come on. That makes you smile, doesn't it? And for those who don't like chocolate, unless you're allergic, you're crazy. Because chocolate is, well, my passion. <laughs> I'm with you on that. <laughs> yeah, eating is my passion. <laughs> Although I have lost 16 pounds, which I'm quite proud of. Just in case you didn't notice <laughs> from the last videos. <laughs> I worked hard to lose 16 pounds so that I can eat all of these fudgy bonbons. Okay, so guys, let's see. I want you to see this. You see how it's starting to come off the sides and when we touch it, we can actually feel it. You see that? Okay, isn't that gorgeous? Okay, now see, just make sure it's covered. Oh, it's nice and warm like a baby's bottom. Look at this. So you're just going to take it like this, you know, a tablespoon, okay? Just about a tablespoon, okay? And then it literally comes right out. This is why we don't need any grease. Close this back up, okay? And then you take this delicious... Who would think you could make this better? Who could make a Hershey Kiss better? And you just want to make it into a ball. Okay, a pretty little ball. You're making bonbons. And then we put them right here. Um, my friend Jane first shared this recipe with me. And actually, my parents made them late last year for gift baskets, for Christmas baskets. And they used um, Hershey with almonds in it. The only thing that we discovered was if you use a flavored Hershey, like the mint or something like that, the, the cookies, they do fall a little bit. The bonbons do, you know, fall. And we don't want that, right? All right, guys. Are you ready? Yes. I bet you just can't stand it, can you? You can't wait. Okay, we're gonna put them in the oven. 350. Put them in for six minutes and then check them. Maybe nine the most, but okay, Simi, let's open this up. And very carefully, always do this with your parents' help, okay? There we go. In the meantime, we're going to take our chocolate. This is very simple. We're going to take a little bit of white chocolate. I'm going to take about, I don't know, about a cup or so. I'm going to take a little bit of um, vegetable oil. Okay, and this will help us. When the oil gets hot, it'll melt the chips. Okay, so, but we're going to watch them. Okay, let's try it for a minute and then we'll, we'll take it out. When we take it out, we're going to stir it up. That helps it melt. And then we'll check on our fudgy bonbons. And as soon as the bonbons are ready, we're gonna take them out and we're gonna um, let them cool a little bit. And then we're gonna put the, it's important to let them cool first. If you put the uh, melted chocolate on them when they're hot, what do you think will happen? Oh, it's we'll, gonna melt the chocolate. Yep, the chocolate will just melt everywhere and you won't have that pretty drizzle effect. All right, so that's what we're doing. Well, we just took our fudgy bonbons out. So I'm gonna show you how to do one, okay? This is the consistency, not wet. Go like this and swing it back and forth like this, see? Swing it back and forth. You control it, you see that? Okay, so now we're gonna finish up with trying these. I hope you guys enjoyed all these recipes. Let's see how it tastes. You ready? One, two, three. Mm. <laughs> Who knew a Hershey's Kiss could be better? Delicious. And look at this. Filled with chocolate. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Get in the Bye. kitchen with your kids. Bye. It's a lot of fun.